So our first guest has grown up right in front of our eyes. We've enjoyed every minute of watching her do it too. She's an actress, she's a comedian, she's a singer, a rapper too for a moment. She's also a fashion designer and the little sister in my head. She's also involved with um, a great new website called Pepsi We Inspire, which she'll tell us about when she comes out. Please welcome the fabulous Raven Simone. <laughs> Oh, diva darling, <laughs> wonderful. What size should you wear? Hopefully your size, because I'll switch right now. <laughs> Eight and a half? 11. That's okay, you're tall. And a half. You're tall. <laughs> okay, your hair looks so fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just get this straight right now. Yes. Let's get this straight. Okay. okay. I was wearing weaves my whole entire life. Yes. My hair has always been short. Yes. So don't think I was copying it, Rihanna or none. My hair has always been short. I just had the guts to take off the weave and like give it a style. And, and the wig, uh, you were wearing a wig in uh, the Chris Rock. I was wearing a weave, it was just loose. <laughs> you did that with a loose weave? That's what I'm saying, sometimes, yeah. sometimes you gotta move it around. Let's look at that memorable moment from Good Hair. This is a weave. So what's in your hair now? This is a weave. This is a weave, two pieces here, you know, like extensions, like, like that. This is fabulous. Thank you just, you. you know, your skin, your whole, you know, I've always had a thing for you, Raven, you know. Um, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? No, but you know how you doing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love you. Do you on. remember coming to the radio show we talked about everything? Can we talk about this on air? We're on the air. Okay. You asked me a question that really embarrassed me, Wendy. What did I ask you? If I was a virgin. If you were a virgin? In front of my daddy, and I'm 15. I didn't know that your father was there. Your father was, was the man right there. I didn't know. That's why I've been scared of you for so long. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. But I love you now. That's no, why I'm here. I, I can tell you this. something. Some of you crazy Hollywood girls, of which I found out then you're not one of them, well, are not virgins in, in front of people, I'm not one of them. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> there are stories, but they're none horrible. You are a businesswoman and the consummate. Um, you are your parents' daughter, and, and truly, I have great respect for you. Well, thank you. I feel better now. I just had to tell you that. I, I can tell you some of the things that we talked about when I met you, because it always stuck in my mind. You had just gotten the Tiffany Champagne Bubble necklace, oh. and you wore it, and you just, you giggled. And I lost it. You did. I'm such a loser at things. diamonds and the... Okay, beautiful. and you really loved, at that time, collecting Louis Vuitton bags. Still have them. And you were about to take delivery on an orange lotus. Got the lotus, wrecked it twice. Oh! It's okay. Um, <laughs> fixed it. Okay. Sold it. Bought a Porsche. Bought a Porsche. So you have this thing about cars. I love cars. Because men love chicks who love cars. I'm just saying, you got to find a way to get in there somehow. Um, <laughs> I know how to braid hair, too, to braid my hair all day long. Yes. But, uh, oh. That's bad. But yeah, I love cars. Yes. I've always been the person to go to the, um, the car show. I have, a, I have guys who are friends, so we're always like, I like that car, I like that car. And um, I'm the super upper. Now, I don't know specific facts about them, yes. but if you look good in it, and I know that you need, you know, extra rims and you need it to be blacked out and you need carbon fiber everywhere, I'm the girl to go to. And I gotta tell you, for you single gals, single women are always wondering where to meet the men at car shows. Do we have that picture that I saw in hair and makeup of Raven um, on the track? <laughs> I, uh, there it is. Look at Raven. No, I was in the Toyota Grand Prix um, for a charity event, and that's a, another reason why I'm here in Los Angeles. I mean, wow. New York. New York. It's okay. You're I want to be because it's cold out here. Yeah. But um, I'm also here for charity as well, yeah. doing you know Pepsi uh, We Inspire right. com, and also the Red Dress Fashion event, which is a whole separate event that I'm. Oh, I'm going to that too. You are. I'm yeah. walking in it. Oh. Do you know about the red? Do you know about the red dress? Yes, situation? it's for heart health. It's for heart health and heart disease. And did you know that females my age and a little bit older than my me. age 45 age, number one killer number one killer and it's funny because it's we have more risks than anyone right now and all you have to do is stop smoking exercise and you know everybody thinks it's a male type of we were talking about disease, this the other day it doesn't exactly it's not so that's so raven mm -hmm. is just a wildly popular show it still comes on on the weekends i was just watching oh, you this wow. weekend you and the cast are just <laughs> You've been finished with that show for how long now, Ray? Almost four years. 
So how do you feel when people come up to you, because you're a grown woman now, transitioning into a whole nother life. Do you get bothered when people that's so raving you to death? Well, only, I don't get bothered because if it stops, we're in trouble. But my name is Raven Simone, uh -huh. so it kind of is weird when people go, hey, that's so Raven. I'm like, no, no, no. Raven Simone. Yes. I was on that to Raven. Yes. But I understand, especially if they're young, I get it, and I don't mind, but I just think it's funny. And then it's even funnier when I go, no, it's not me, I'm Halle Berry. And they're like, no, it's not. Are you? <laughs> I'm like, are you really believing me right now? And then do more people recognize you for that or and, and give you love or Olivia on the Cosby show, you know? It depends on the age bracket. It depends on the age There she is, just adorable. Is it true the word in on the block is that uh, Sidney Poitier encouraged uh, Dr. Cosby to hire you for that role? Yes, I tried out for the movie Ghost Dad, didn't get the part, I was too young, but Sidney Poitier was in the casting room and he told Mr. Cosby that he should meet me anyway. And I read a um, whole bunch of uh, lines that were actually Rudy's and that's what happened. You ended up getting the job as Olivia. That's wonderful. Well, I'm going to I'm going to watch how I handle you with kid gloves cuz I adore you. No, how you can take them off. Now I'm 24. Bring it on. Well then, Miss Sassy Pratt. <laughs> tell us it's first kiss month here on yes. the club, on the um, show. And, and and that's your cue yeah. to tell us your juicy first kiss story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've been waiting for me to talk about this because you know I don't talk about my personal life, but I thought that this was interesting and I'll do it for you. So uh, you. I was in high school and I was a freshman and the guy that I liked at the time was a senior, obviously. I remember his name, I won't call you out. And uh, he was flirting with me. I get, I thought it was real flirting because I'm like, oh my God, he's so cute, he's Puerto Rican, I can't even say it right now, it's amazing. <laughs> And uh, he kept flirting with me, flirting with me. I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, how many months are you going to do this? So before math class, ring, 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 ring. I pulled him to the side of the hallway, gave him a kiss. I said, don't ever elude me again. Oh. Ever. You're a woman with a lot of confidence who apparently she knows I what she what wants. I get what I want. No, no, yeah. <laughs> no, no, yes, you do. And I'm not finished talking with you. You stay. We're going to take a break. More with Raven Simone. And also we'll talk with her about her new, uh, this great new Pepsi web campaign as well and self-esteem. Don't go away.